Hello, today is Sunday, the 4th of September 2011, and I want to start this video off within the reproduction within these videos and the charts, because recently, one of my videos was uploaded, a little bit of stuff added to it, mainly the web page to another site, and then re-uploaded. Quite frankly, that is what I do not want on this channel. As far as embedding the videos on different web pages, go right ahead. If you got a blog or any web page, any posting form, go ahead and embed the videos. As far as the images are concerned, many of these images are available on the web page, and these ones are available to be used in many different presentations. For the most part, almost everything that is no non-profit or little profit as well as the fair use statement if you want to use my video put a couple minutes one minute here and there then uh, use it for the fair use uh, situation for parts of debates or further commentary once again that is fine all right now let's get on within this technical analysis we're looking at the daily chart for silver i'll go through the three lines in the fibonacci this is the fibonacci from the breakout lows and the high placed at the end of April so the first level was support the second level has not been tested it may not be tested the blue line represents that of the volume weighted average price using SLV volume since the breakout which was support back when Fibonacci was support and is now lifting within it the purple line is a simple moving average. It is the 200-day moving average. And the orange line is a front-weighted 50-day moving average. It would do a lot to make a front-weighted 200, but it actually found support. The front-weighted 200-day moving average did. Now, as far as the 50 is concerned, you see a situation where you go below it, and now you are going above it. This is showing a lot of signs for this potentially being that of a failed move which oftentimes creates fast moves in the opposite direction since then there has been two times where the 50-day moving average has been found as support and we can see on the last day the Friday day how it's trying to break away from it again getting above this high then the next level of resistance is between the 47 to 50 mark which was this range back in here I take a look looking at this within the quarter day time frame simply this is the significant trend line that it is following so it's doing uh, fairly well right now up uh, with room to go to the upside when we connect the resistance points we're pretty much in the middle within this range and you see that it's just really starting to get going right now after it had the situation within here and when these things get going, they can really get going. But again, we're in this range, holding the support will still be bullish, basically. Now, I recently, in the last week or so, somebody asking me about TLT on the long-term time frame. And TLT is simply that of an ETF, which tracks, uh, I'm thinking, 20 to 30-year or 20-year bonds something in that nature but it tracks bonds and this ETF goes in the opposite direction of interest rates when interest rates go lower then TLT goes higher I'm pretty sure of that overall this chart looks a lot like a VIX chart would look like VIX is a volatility index or really fear index for the equity market it looks a lot like a volatility chart because it's designed to stay in a flat line middle and then go above and below this level. At least that's how I'm looking at this and how the chart has been trading going back, in this case, to 2004. Now, the date, as you see, is the 4th of September, which means there's only been two days within this month. And this thing is already getting going. Money is going into bonds, and generally speaking, when this goes up, a lot of times the stock market goes down. A lot of it, I think, is because people get out of stocks and they put their money into bonds. 
Now we rewind the clock back to 2008. This is where it really got going before. When did this happen? This happened in November of 2008. So this was November. This was October and this was September. September and October were the months where the stock market really had major difficult times. Thus, TLT was a lagging indicator towards what the stock market was doing because by the looks of it, there are these two periods in here, money was put out of stocks and then put into bonds over the next two periods. That's what I'm thinking again. I'm not entirely sure. We got the Fibonacci for this low to this high. And of course, for the second time now, it's getting above this level. Again, this isn't like a type of stock that can find support at this level and say goodbye to it forever. I don't think. It's the type that has a medium and it goes back below and above it on many different occasions. However, though, right, this is not the same as 2008 because, like, like I said, this happened two months after the stock market originally started to crash in September of 2008. Starting point here was in August of 2008, which is exactly when the bond market started to go higher. Thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.